God be with you. Uh, I'm looking for a Sukuno. Sukuno. Uh, Baron Rickvold. Isn't this his camp? You won't get nothing out of him. You must be Radzig's man. I heard he was supposed to send someone. Yes, Sir Radzig sent me as a guide. I'm Henry. I'm Jakey. And this here fella, we call the Stone. I can see why. What's up with him? Cat got his tongue? No. More like the dog got it. The executioner's dog. <laughs> when the executioner ripped it out of him. Anyway, you better come along with me. I'll introduce you to the other fellas. And the chief. These here are the Bearman brothers, Petter and Jan. Mm. They're a barrel of laughs, except when they're too drunk to string two words mm. together. Like now. <clears throat> Don't get on the wrong side of them, though. When their blood is up, well, it ain't a pretty sight. Pleased to make your acquaintance, I'm sure. Never mind the fancy poses, Stefan. You're trying to kill the fucker, not teach him how to dance. And you, Dangler, stand your ground. Don't let him lead you round by the nose. Sir? Well, sir, this is Henry. From Co... From Lord Kobola. Ah, it's about time Rads had got round to this. We need someone who knows their way round these parts. Leave off with the uh, bowing and curtsying. We don't hold with that tomfoolery here. Jakey! Where the hell are you sneaking off to? Go to the farm and get water. The lads are thirsty. But I went last time. And you'll go next time, you ungrateful pup. Get your ass moving. Snot nosed brat. You pull them out of a pile of shit, and they thank you with back talk. Where were we? Oh, yeah. We need a guide who knows these parts. So I hope I can rely on you, Herman. It's Henry. Right. Well, as I said to Radzig, I don't want to carry any dead weight. We could find ourselves in some very tight situations where every sword counts. Oh. I know how to handle a sword, all right? I've heard a lot of fellas say that. They still ended up on the wrong end of one. <laughs> we'll find out. Stefan, take a break. Dangler, let's find out what Harold here can do. Sure. No problem, Chief. Kurva! Badly at all, I must say. You can ride with us. All right, good. Thanks. Don't thank me yet. You don't know what you're letting yourself in for. <laughs> Should we ride out? Aye, we ought to set out on patrol about now. Hope you've got your kit ready and whatnot. I'd like to head to the north. Is there anything interesting that way? North of here, uh, Samapesh and Merhoyed are that way. And Talmberg is a bit further on. There's stables in Merhoyed. I wouldn't mind paying a visit to those stables. We can go through there. And from there? From there, we'll follow our noses. Something interesting is sure to turn up. I feel it in my bones. Man up and let's go. Sure. Chief. Yeah. Oh. oh, God. What a fine Eat. day, eh, brother? Indeed, Food. brother. You know what I like best about days like this, yeah? Hmm. The scent of chamomile wafting from the hillsides. Among other things. Ah, like the rounded hills. 
rising, pertly, all soft and pink in the sunlight. And the fertile valley below spreading wide and inviting. Dew glistening in a mossy hollow. The sweet aroma of honey in the air. The sturdy poplar standing tall and erect. Aye, it reminds me of that day. That day where the two of us fucked Fletch's ma. <laughs> Very droll. You'd make a stuffed bug laugh. Your ma's a stuffed bird. <laughs> I stuffed her myself. <laughs> I can't smell any chamomile. Well, men, how are things? May I? Yes, Fletch. How shall I put it? I'm a little concerned about the prospects in these parts, Chief. Oh? How's that? I've been looking around, and if you'll pardon me, it seems to me that we've been stuck for a long time in the arsehole of beyond. It's not Paris, France, I'll grant you. What I mean to say is, I haven't got any new kit or arrows since the day Jakey joined us. It makes me uneasy, Chief. I see. What about the rest of you? I don't know what Fletch is moaning about. There's plenty of booze and loose wenches nearby. Not to mention fools in the taverns who don't know when to stop rolling those dice. Tangler? It's the arsehole of beyond everywhere we go. It always makes me uneasy. Jakey? Fletch can complain. I was supposed to get a suit of armor, and all I got was a shitty kettle hat. Sorry, but they don't do hoberks in girl sizes. Oh? Well, how did you get yours, then? All right. I appreciate your honesty, lads. Don't worry. There will be plunder. We're here to fight. To the victor, the spoils. And so it's always been that no purse of silver will shed blood for you on the battlefield. That's what this company is for. And I hope you never forget the golden rule. You can joke all you want, moan all you want, but nothing will keep your skins in one piece better than trusting your leader, who you choose by your own free will. So don't ever forget that. Amen. Let's go! Behind me, and keep your eyes peeled. Yeah. 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 What do you think we can expect this yeah. time, fellas? Groshen. Hidden in a piss pot under the bed. Yeah. Nice chunk of beef. No one there will be eating. On account yeah. of you to just fall out through the holes in their bellies, yeah. hey brother? <laughs> <laughs> My mouth is already watering, yeah. brother, and I ain't even touched a purse yet. Once you've got your hands on some loot, yeah. I'll be happy to play you for your hard-earned grosh at the back of the camp. Yeah. Poor old Fletch. Never gets to see the action from close up. Yeah. What about you, Dangler? What do you expect to find? Futility and human suffering, like always. Always full of good cheer, eh, Dangler? Why don't you take a leaf out of Stone's book? Shut the fuck up. Jesus, I wish you'd all shut the fuck up. <laughs> 